This is your diamond insight for tonight of Declaration of Assets in Zambia. If our political leaders were open about their assets and liabilities, maybe the embarrassment that former First Lady Esther Nyawa Temba Lungu is facing could have been avoided. We agree that Mrs. Lungu is not a political figure, but as wife of a former head of state, she could and should be open about her assets. She might not be the first to be embarrassed and might not be the last if Zambians do not make the corrective measures. Articles 52 of our Constitution Clause 1 is very clear and states, and we quote, Candidate shall file that candidate's nomination papers to a returning officer, supported by an affidavit, stating the candidate is qualified for nomination as president, member of parliament or councillor in the manner, on the day and at the time the place set by the electoral commission by regulation. In clause 3, the law states, and again we quote, the information contained in a nomination paper and affidavit shall be published by the electoral commission as prescribed, end of quote. But does this law provide for the declaration of assets and liabilities of spouses of the candidate in an election? In fact, we have not seen the publication of the assets and liabilities by the ECZ in the August 2021 general election nominations and therefore Zambians are ignorant of the wealth and indebtedness of their leaders. This is because the ECZ Act forbids officers from disclosing information that comes into their possession. Therefore, nobody knows how much President Hitler has in his pocket. Nobody knows how much more President Edgar Lungu has and had in his possession after leaving office. In case some people are wondering, why are we talking about leaders in relation to the former First Lady? Article 263 states and we quote, that a person holding a public office shall, before assuming office or leaving office, make a declaration of their assets and liabilities as prescribed, end of quote. Our leaders have failed with flying colors to actualize this law. Therefore, it is not the Drug Enforcement Commission's fault to act the way they have done and we cannot blame them. Zambians have the propensity of embarrassing their leaders and their leaders always want to embarrass themselves by failing to follow the law. The Drug Enforcement Commission is out there to prove its relevance. How can 15 flats be left to the guessing minds of Zambians? How can 15 flats remain unoccupied as the former First Lady and her husband, the sixth president, Edgar Lungu, squat in a footballer, Stopila Sunzu's home? Indeed, Zambians are a secretive society to the extent of hiding even that which they own. Come to think of it, Zambians can proudly speak about the riches and liabilities of President Hakainde Hichilema and his wife Mutinta. Zambians have been denied the full knowledge about the richest members of parliament and ministers. Some have declared their assets and liabilities, while others have ignored the law. Zambians are made to guess the richest man or woman in the country, therefore are proud of foreigners flaunting their money than their own. Zambians should be proud of their assets and declare them so that officers of law enforcement agencies are not made to look supermen and women over a straightforward matter like owning a house or flats.